Oh snap, hold on. I feel like my hair looks crazy, but I feel like we had worse days. Oh no, damn. What the fuck, back up, no. What's up YouTube, it is your boy Darius Official. I am back with another YouTube video. As you can see from the title below, this video is My Time with Trent. No, but yeah, this is um my time with Trip. This is episode five that y'all been fucking asking for that you guys won't leave me the fuck alone about. Um, so yeah, you know I'm gonna give that to you all. Gonna give it to you all. Gonna give it to you raw. Gonna give it to you tight in the booty. Why did I say that? Oh, that was terrible. I shouldn't have said no shit like that. Honestly, honestly, uh, honestly, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm half. I'm very. I'm. I'm low key tired right now. Like I can low key just lay down in this motherfucking bed and just. Okay, alright, anyway, so if y'all remember from last episode, from episode 4, it was called Jealousy, this one, we gonna name it Movie Night, fuck it, Movie Night, why not, no, man, no, man, so yeah, so we're gonna name this Movie Night, and the reason I'm naming it Movie Night is because if y'all remember from last episode, Zay, which is the new character that's part of the series now, just fill y'all back in, um, Zay is this boy that I had met at the party, and he asked for my Instagram, and I was about to say that boy real name. What the fuck? Oh, I gotta get that together. Trent, um, <laughs> Trent, um, hated that. And yeah, okay, um, so at the end of the last episode, Zay ended up asking me basically if he basically invited me to his house because he was having a movie night the weekend after, um, you know, yeah. So now we're at that weekend. But before we get into all of that, somebody in the comments said, Dear, you talk so motherfucking much, like, can you just hurry up and get to the story time, blah, 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 this and that? Bitch, no. And I know you're not a motherfucking real daredevil. I know you one of them new motherfuckers. You, you one of them young hoes. You one of them new hoes that don't know how this shit work. Bitch, I always give y'all some commentary before we get into the actual commentary. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get to, I gotta talk to y'all. So with that being said, you gonna sit your ass down and you gonna motherfucking listen since you want, since you new to the channel and you wanna be disrespectful and get flipped at the motherfucking lip, bitch. Now we finna dig into your motherfucking ass, all right? So for all of my new subscribers, I wanna say what's up y'all. Welcome to the Daredevil family. That is what I call my supporters, which is you all. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for just supporting me. Um, even if you are new for just subscribing, um, I hope that, hold on, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be talking. <laughs> No, but for real, um, if you are new, I just want to thank you so much for even just subscribing and giving me a chance. I hope that you guys are enjoying my channel so far. I know more than y'all recently have been coming from My Summer with Noah, and I hope that y'all enjoyed that series, and I hope that you will enjoy this one too. Um, For all of my returning subscribers, what's up, Daredevil? Y'all know what we about to get the fuck into. Y'all already know what's going on. Y'all already know how the fuck I get. Y'all already know how I get now. <laughs> my motherfucking top. Either I'm really tired or I, I had too much sugar. Is it crack? Is it meth? What the fuck? Is wrong with this nigga? And why the fuck is he so hyper right now? I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the story. Okay, so y'all know from last episode, I had told y'all that Trent wasn't talking. Like, he wasn't talking to me. He wasn't responding to no shit. Me and him, I tried to, like, have a conversation with him. He finally ended up responding. He was like, yeah. Like, he just literally responded like, yeah. I had texted him. I said, Trent. This was after me, like, having to keep calling him, having to keep texting him. And he was like, yeah. And then I said, can we talk? And he never responded. Y'all, that went on for, like, four days. So now we're at Friday. Trent wasn't talking to me. Like, he wasn't saying nothing. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Friday, Friday, you know, Friday was the day before, like, the sleepover. So, like, you know, whatever. So, oh, my bad, too. Let me put a picture up of Trent. This is Trent. This is what Trent looks like. Okay. And then we're going to put up a picture of Zay. This is what Zay looks like. Zay is the one with the sleepover tomorrow on Saturday. Today's Friday. Tomorrow on Saturday. All right. So it's Friday now. Uh, I literally went and got a haircut that day. And I remember coming back from my haircut as soon as I had got home. Um, I had I had called Trent. Because like I'm not going to lie, y'all. Like I was calling him like, I was just calling him. Like, because what the fuck? You're not talking to me. Of course, he didn't fucking answer. So I just said, you know what? Fuck it. All right, whatever. I crawled in my bed, um, just watching TV. And then I just get a text. And it was Zay. And he was like, yo. And I was like, yo, what's up? And he was like, um, you still coming tomorrow? And I just kind of text back jokingly. I was like... I never confirmed that I was coming. I told you I was going to let you know. See what my schedule looking like. And he was like, dot, dot, dot. Well, what's that schedule looking like? And I was like, um, I'm free. <laughs> like, I'm free. And he was like, okay. He was like, well, um, yeah, it's just going to be a couple of us. going to be a few of my friends in the end. My other friends from the party that we had went to, I'm not going to say their name, but um, it was two, two girls. So, you know, they were roommates. It was them two, and then it was two of um, Trent's friends, his other friends. I was like, okay, what time? He was like around 6 o'clock. 
6 p.m. So I was like, okay. So I was like, all right, just shoot me the address and I'll be up. He was like, all right, bet. So that happened. That whole Friday just went through. Mind you, still not here from Trent. Watching the stories, he's still posting everything. Like, y'all even think he posted that he had went on a date or something. I don't know. Still to this day, I didn't get any clarification on what the fuck that actually was. But I had watched his story and like, he was like toasting like shots with somebody. I don't know. I could be motherfucking wrong, but I'm just saying. Though. It just, it just gave like, you ignore me, you toasting, you know, you putting somebody motherfucking hand up in your damn Instagram story and shit. It's giving date. I don't get no fuck. Like, honestly. And then, like, it's during the daytime and you taking shots. You toasting. I'm not stupid. Or maybe I am. But I'd rather, I'd rather think that you're doing something than you're not. Because, like, what the fuck? Like, call, call it self-sabotage. I don't care. Anyway. So, yeah. So, that whole Friday, um, I literally didn't do nothing. I just had got my hair cut. I think made some videos, some YouTube videos or whatever. Um, and, yeah, just went about my day. Went to sleep. But then Saturday comes. And I'm like, okay, this is the day. Um, I was low-key. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about it. Like, damn. 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 Like, I'm going to go to this man's house. Like, I'm going to go to Zay's house. And I know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all probably like, Darius, like, you really finna go to this boy house and blah, 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 such and such. Bitch, you would do it too for a check. Bitch, bitch, you would do it too if your motherfucking, your motherfucking nigga that's not your nigga, but that's your nigga. That your motherfucking man that's not your man, but a bitch better watch her hands. What's ignoring you? You would do it too. You would do it too. And so let's talk about it, right? I'm really trying to make, like, I'm really trying to take the heat off me. But me and Trent were never in a relationship. Like, we weren't. We just agreed to, like, we, we knew we was interested in each other. So we was like, all right, let's try this talking shit out, boom. And, you know, whatever. Cool. So, all right. Like, we just, we just fucking talking. And, like, you're ignoring me. Like, you literally, like, you literally sitting there ignoring me. So, of course, like, if you fucking ignore me, and then I'm already assuming that you out toasting with somebody. Like, all right, cool. Like, what the fuck? I'm finna go to the man's house. Like, what the fuck is a sleepover? Like, okay, it's, it's, it's motherfucking already four other people over there. We're really five, including him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what the fuck? Like, damn. Damn, it's not really like nothing gonna happen. Anyway, so yeah, so that whole day I was like anticipating. I'm just like, damn, I'm really gonna go to this man's house. Mind you, I had woke up early on um, on that Saturday. I probably woke up at like eight o'clock in the morning. And yeah, I was just, I had made breakfast. Um, What the fuck else did I do to occupy the time? Bitch, all I remember is that I made breakfast. Bitch, that's really all I fucking remember. Anyway, but then he ended up texting me around 12 and was just like basically sending the address. Like he sent the address and said six o'clock, all of that stuff. Like everything he already had sent yesterday, but, but, but he's just sending the address with it now. And I was like, okay, so I texted him, I'm like, do I need to bring something? He was like, no, nah, other than like snacks if, of your choice if you want to. And I was like, okay, cool. So I had motherfucking went to Target. I had got like a whole bunch of snacks. I got like popcorn, that type of stuff, blah, blah, blah. That shit, I'm kind of kidding. I was gonna get some wine, but then I was like, no. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe this ain't what we need to be doing. Maybe we don't need to be getting no wine. You know what I'm saying? Just chill. It's just a, you know what I'm saying? It's a simple Saturday. We don't need to be doing no wine. And no, hell no, just no. Cause then, you know what wine turned into? Wine, that, that wine turned into that dirty wine. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, boom. I ended up getting back from the store, and by that time, it was probably like, it was almost close to the time of me leaving. Not really, I still had a few hours, so I ended up just going home, I chill, and then I ended up leaving my crib at like 5.30. He didn't stay too far, um, but I ended up just leaving at 5.30 because I had to go get gas, all of that. I had to pack up the car with all the snacks. It was just, it wasn't too much, but I just wanted to see, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, I was just ready to get over there. I'm not <laughs> Like, I was really just ready to get over there. I was like, what we doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? So, y'all in them comments judging me. Don't judge me. Judge your fat ass mama. On my mama. On my mama, judge your fat ass mama. And your too short ass daddy. Your mama big as a house dating a little ass man. Mm. Y'all irritating for real, dang. Mm. Anyway, so I followed the location. I ended up getting to his crib. Um, he had an apartment. <laughs> He had an apartment, um, the one bedroom, because, you know, he just stayed by himself. I ended up getting to his apartment. I was in one, well, really, I can't even say it was in one bedroom. He had, like, a loft. So, it was, like, he had a nice-ass loft. It was, like, a wooden loft. Y'all know what I'm, like, how can I put it, like, you know, when you walk in and then everything is, like, downstairs as far as, like, the kitchen, the living room, and then, so, to the right was just these stairs, and it was, like, a loft area upstairs where his, where his bedroom was, but there was no actual, like, bed, it wasn't an actual bedroom, it was just area you know what i mean but it was it was pretty spacious for like a like a studio loft or whatever it was cool so um yeah i end up motherfucking um <laughs> pulling up you know what i'm saying i text him i was like i'm downstairs and he was like all right um i'm gonna open up the gate for you and then just let me know where you park blah 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 and such and such i told him where i parked at and then he gave me the directions to come upstairs um i was like all right bitch mind you it's literally like six on the dot six on the dot he said six child i got there at six don't shoot the motherfucking messenger don't kill me. <sighs> Y'all, so I get upstairs. I get to his apartment. 
and I knock on the door. I expect it. Well, okay, I, okay. I knock on the door and he opens it. And like literally as he opens it, y'all, he just kind of smiled. Like he just gave me a smile. He was like, what's up? And I was like, what's up? And then he opens up the door like, and goes like this for me to walk in. I walk in and I'm like, oh, this is nice as fuck. Like I seen this off, it was like, y'all, it was real nice. Like it was just nice as shit. I'm like, damn. <sighs> it was nice. No for real. But then I noticed nobody's there. I'm like, no, I'm like, so I look at him. I say, where everybody at? And he's like, oh, such and such. Two people that were driving together because it was my two friends that lived together. They were obviously driving together. And then his other two friends, they were driving. So he was like, my set of friends were about 10 minutes away. And then his other, his friends were like 30. So I was like, oh, okay. I was like, um, oh, okay. So they on their way basically. He's like, yeah. So um, I'm just sitting there like close the door or whatever. And I still got the snacks in my hand. Like I got them in this little tray or whatever. So I'm like, um, where you want me to sit this? He's like, you can just sit in on the island. So I sit on the island. Um, and I don't know y'all. It was just like, it was kind of awkward because it was just like me and him. So, you know, I just kind of pulled like a chair out of the island. Um, and yeah, I just sit there and then I just get on my phone. Cause like, it wasn't really like, you know, I'm just like, should we waiting? And so he's like in the kitchen, he's like grabbing cups and stuff, like setting it all out. And yeah. And then he was just like, <laughs> my job, I'm on my phone, but I'm on my phone, like not subconsciously. Like I'm on my phone because I'm just literally like not trying to, like I'm not even doing shit on my phone. I'm just like, it was just awkward. It wasn't awkward, but I just know what to say. And this was just like a cope, like a cope and you know, a little blanket for my nervousness. I don't know. So probably after like one long ass minute of just like silence, he ended up walking off and like went to go grab some blankets and then he ended up coming back putting the blankets on the couch. So then he comes back in the kitchen, mind you I'm still at that uh, island. So as he's walking up, like he got a cup that he was just drinking water out of and he grabs the cup and he says, so how you and your boy been? <laughs> and y'all, I'm literally just on my phone like, what you mean? And he was like, like what's up? Like, y'all cool? And I literally, y'all, no joke, I literally just asked him, I was like, I was like, wait, why, why, why are you asking that? He was like, I'm just making small talk. I was like, okay, small talk, all right. It just gave a little weird, like, I don't know, just that's the first question you asked. But then again, I don't know, I was just thinking in my head, maybe he's nervous or whatever the case is, right? Let's just say he's nervous. So, I was like, um, no, we cool. Lying, because we're not. Y'all, I, I literally said to, and I probably shouldn't have said this, but it wasn't a lie, it was kind of like the truth, but it just wasn't, like, I could have gave a little bit more information. I, just, I told him, I was like, um, by the way, like, that's not my, my, um, my boy, like, that's not my guy. And he was like, Oh, for real? And I was like, yeah. I was like, and then I was thinking in my head, like, should I mention like us talking? But then I was like, well, it's really kind of the truth because Trent's not talking to me. So I don't, I really had in my head that Trent probably was not going to talk to me. So I just said, that's not my guy. Like, and he was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah. And he asked me if I wanted some water. I was like, um, sure. And we just kind of chopped it up having like little conversations. He asked like, he basically asked, was I from here? I told him I was from Chicago. And he's like, um, how long I been out here? Just real small talk. Before I knew it, my friends ended up pulling up and and they were at the door. So they were knocking on the door and he goes to go grab the door and they walk in and it was like, um, they were kind of, they were kind of startled. I'm not going to say startled, but they was just like, oh, you here too? Because mind you, they already knew who Zay was before I did. So they were like, you here? Like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, like y'all, it was weird. Like it was very weird. Um, <laughs> it was very awkward because they was like, oh shit. Like they didn't expect me to be there, but I knew that they were coming because Zay told them, Zay, Zay told me that they were coming, but I guess he never told them that I was coming. So I don't know. And at this point too, I don't know what Zay's, um, if he's out the closet or what. I really don't, I don't know shit. I just know like, I feel like this boy flirting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like that's, that's all I fucking know. So yeah, when they, when my friends walked in, it was like, oh shit, Darius, what's up? And I was like, What's up, y'all? And then it kind of got awkward, and then my friend, we gonna call her T. She was like, um, I didn't know you was gonna be a part of the movie night. So then I end up looking at Zay, and Zay hurry up and speaks up, and he says, he was like, you don't remember me telling y'all that? That night that we all got, like, really drunk in your apartment? And she was like, oh, no, I don't remember that. She was like, I was so toe up, so, like, you could have probably told me anything, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just in my head, like, okay, nice save, I guess. But I don't know if he really told them, and they just really don't remember, but it just sounds like he probably didn't tell them, and he just wanted me to come around. I don't know. It was just, it was weird. So I was like, okay. But then they end up giving me a hug, I give him a hug, and we all um yeah we just we just we just sitting there we just all chopping up at the island and we waiting on his other friends so my friends are asking so what movies are we watching and zay is basically like any scary movie he's in the mood for scary movies and all this and that y'all i don't like scary movies i don't like scary movies i don't like anything with blood so i'm just kind of sitting there just like i'm just shutting the fuck up like i'm like they giving out suggestions i ain't got i ain't suggesting shit i don't want to watch no motherfucking scary movie and that's just motherfucking me but hey <sighs> so they all agreed on the city insidious and then zay was just like dearest you gonna um, you got any suggestions? I was like, no, 
um, whatever. The whole time I wasn't, I was really scared as fuck. I was shaking in my motherfucking boots and I don't play with. So when y'all are talking about some watching some devil tree or anything that has demonic energy or demons or anything going against the Lord's love, his word, or just the Lord himself, I don't want to be a part of it. Can I get an amen? I ate that. I ate that. I ate that. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, so by this point, his friends end up, um, finally coming. So, like, you know, 30 minutes, then when then pass, or 20 minutes, however long, they end up coming. And these hoes bring a fucking bottle. Now, I didn't plan on drinking. So, when they walked in, they were just like, ah, movie night, movie night, movie night. And Zay was just like, yo, like, no, um, <laughs> we not, we not doing this. We not, you know. And my job, Zay is, he was very masculine, but you could tell that he, um, he was like really close with his with the with the female friends that he had. Like those two, like you could really tell like they were really close. And I I wanted to know the dynamic. And I ended up finding out the dynamic, which is also that y'all when I get to that point, y'all be like, oh okay, okay. But because they were like so abnormally close, and I didn't understand why. But it makes sense in the end. But he was also like a very masculine presenting dude. So I was like, okay, it was just, it just seemed, I ain't gonna say it seemed weird, but just seeing somebody, I don't know, I ain't even gonna put that on the air. Anyway, so they walk in, they got the bottle, they like, ooh, moving night, moving night, moving night, moving night. I instantly put my head down. I'm like, Lord, they walking around the damn table with the bottle. My friend's like, oh shit, she got a bottle, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, and I just kind of look at Zay and I'm like, cause he already, I, I ain't really trying. I just wasn't trying to drink y'all like I just for real for real like so skip to a little part of whatever Um, the two girls that's his friends. They were putting out shot cups and they pouring up shots or whatever Boom. So me and Zay both end up taking one shot and then they asked for just like still taking shots And you know, they kind of fuck with us like why y'all not taking shots? I'm like, I'm just cool Like I just y'all I just really wanted to move to drink like honestly I just thought already had in my head that it was just like moving night whatever cool and I guess that's how Zay was too boom so they probably took like four shots at this point they throwing ass and we supposed to be watching it was just it was Look crazy. Um, so they end up walking off from the counter. Uh, they end up walking off from the island and they goes into like the living room, which is behind them. So now they on Snapchat, they throwing ass and all of this and that, blah blah blah. All four of the girls, mind you, they you know they four shots in. So Zay just kind of like he kind of laughs, like he's still at the island, he's sitting across from me at this point, and he looks at me and then looks at them and then looks back at me and laughs and then does like a wink. Was like, and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is you winking at me for? Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you winking at me for, nigga? So now I was like, and then there were two. He was like, yeah. He was like, this ain't gonna last long to watch. They gonna get tired. I was like, I bet. Um, so, you know, we kind of just laugh about it. Cool. And then, um, I looked at him and he looked at me and then he was like, well, I guess we could take a shot. And I was like, I was like, okay, I don't really have too many more in me that, uh, I think we're going to be taking, but he was like, yeah, nah, but let's just take one toast to each other. I guess I was like, okay. So mind you, they still over there throwing ass. They don't get no fuck about shit. They got the music. They are by this point too. By the, by the way, y'all, they had the music playing at this point too. I'm just like, what the fuck? This is supposed to be moving up. So, um, yeah, they back there throwing ass or whatever. And then he pours up all shots and we just kind of toast. And literally I remember as we were about to toast, I was just about to like take my shit right when we toast and he said hold on wait i was like what's up he was like um he was like toast to a good movie night good vibes good energy and i was like of course of course of course and he was like let's toast to the first time you come into my house and hopefully not the last and i was like i just kind of chuckled y'all because i don't know what the fuck to do i just literally just i just was like chuckling who the fuck just who the fuck just sit there and just chuck bitch me i'm just sitting there just like like I'm just chuckling. Like who? That's the most silliest shit that I could fucking do. That's the most silliest emote I got. I said I'm just sitting there chuckling. And I said right, 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 right. Let's take this shot. And then um after he got done talking, as I was like taking my shots, I was just looking at him and like he was looking at me too. He took his shot and he was just like and just kind of gave me like a little look like that, like a little up and down look. And I said. I just kind of turned my head to the back, see what they were doing. And then he was like, um, he was like, all right, y'all, come on, let's, let's watch this movie. Let's watch this movie. So they're like, all right, all right, all right. So now they cutting off the music and stuff. They all grabbing their spots. Zay walks around the island and he taps me like, oh, I'm facing this way, but he's walking around and he kind of like taps my shoulder and was like, come on. I was like, all right. <laughs> so, um, y'all, this is kind of like, <laughs> it's making me hot thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> is it getting hot in here or is it just me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. We end up going into the living room. 
So the way that his living room was set up, he had like a he had like a sofa right here against. Okay, so the TV's right ahead of us. And then he had a sofa on the side and then like a sofa this way. So it was like two couches, so boom, boom. But it wasn't a section, like they were disconnected. Had a little tray table with the little um with the little um rug and all of that, boom. And he had this like really big TV like on the wall. So I caught my seat on the floor. Like I sit on the floor with my back against the couch. Two of the girls that knew each other were on that couch and they were under a blanket together. And then the other two girls were kind of like right behind us, right? Well, was on this couch with like, you know, under the blanket together, like, you know, snuggled up. And then I'm like sitting right here with my back pressed up against my friend T, but like not pressed up against her, just against the couch, you know? And then Zay's sitting like, his back is pressed against the other couch. Like it kind of seemed like we were segregated, but not too segregated. But like you could tell like, hey, he with his friends, I'm with my friends. But we were all still like obviously together because we're in the living room. So he got his back pressed up against each other. So me and him are like this. So this is him, this is me. And this, these are our feet. So it was like kind of like right there, boom. Um, they fucking cut on insidious or whatever. Mind you, I got my own blanket, he got his own blanket. Those two sharing blankets, they sharing blankets, boom. <sighs> We are about fucking 40 minutes within the damn movie. And y'all, I'm like not really trying to watch it for real, but like I'm watching it because I'm just like, you know, whatever. I'm steady like looking back and forth at everybody, see if everybody's still woke. Um, looking back at Zay or whatever, he's watching the movie. And I'm like, okay. Now, mind y'all, um, by this point, we're probably like 40 minutes in. And the movie just was like, I don't know, like it just, it was, it was doing a little somebody was like, all right, whatever. So I remember like, as I was looking at the screen, Zay, Zay kind of like nudged his foot and like kicked mine. Like, Bit. He just kind of like moved it over, you know, not moved it over, but he was just like, and I looked over and he was looking at me and then he winked and then turned his head back. And I was just like, okay, this nigga's a winker. Like, <laughs> this nigga here is a winker. Somebody get this nigga like an eye patch or something because this nigga's a winker. We got a blinker and a winker. So, um, so I ended up like looking over at that couch. The girls were asleep and I looked and I turned behind me and they ass was asleep. And I'm just like, I literally, y'all, I was literally like, uh, I literally said, uh, and then Zay was watching me the whole time. He's like, he went just like this. He's like, I'm like, they ass sleep. He was like, just fuck. I was like, all right. So he ends up, like, we just, we both just sitting there kind of like silently laughing because he was just like, what the fuck? Like, how the fuck they gonna go to sleep on a movie 40 minutes in? So, um, probably like a long two minutes then passed by this point of that. And then Zay scoots over. So he kind of like, he looks at me and then he like, he scoots over, like next to me. So now we just kind of like sit next to each other. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What do I do? What do I fucking do? <laughs> do I fucking do? This nigga sitting here, he trying to scoot next to me, he trying to, he trying to touch on me. No, he's trying to touch on me. Then he was just like, he's still looking at the screen though. So now he's like right in front of the screen like I am. And he's kind of like whispering sort of, but not whispering, but just because the movie's playing and because they're asleep. So he's like, um, I ain't gonna lie, I probably would've fell asleep too had you not been up because the movie kind of boring. And I was like, oh, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did it. <laughs> but I told him, I was like, yeah, it is kind of like a weak movie, but it seemed like it's getting good. Whole time y'all, I'm scared as shit. I'm not even trying to look at the screen because I just, I just, I don't like scary movies, like damn. Like, okay, fine, I don't like scary movies. Y'all could talk that shit, but talk that shit to your mother. Like I said, your mother's big and your dad's small and I don't care. I'm like, so, any motherfucking way. So, I can't remember what happened in the motherfucking movie, but at some point, the shit, the shit scared me to where I jumped. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, and I jumped. And he peeped that shit and like, he literally like grabbed my thigh like this and squeezed it and like laughed. He was like, <laughs> and I was like, well, you better stop touching me, Jeff. You better stop touching me on my mom. Oh shit, get ugly. Or sexual. So, yeah. We literally just sat there and me and him just finished watching the rest of the movie. Um, Then, the movie was over. The girls were still asleep. So, he ends up cutting on something else that we just didn't give a fuck about. And we were just literally, we just sat there and talked. And um, he was like, wait, I got a couple of questions. I was like, what's up? Mind y'all, we just sitting there talking. So he was like, um, he was like, come on, let's go on the balcony. So we get up and we go on his balcony. Like we get up, mind you, the girls, they still sleep. So we get up, we go on the motherfucking balcony. And um, his little, his little out deck was nice. Like, it was just so nice. He had a nice little view. It was just real cute. I said, hold on, hold on, what the fuck? So y'all, we leaning over the rail, um, just talking and like, he just asked certain questions like, I don't even know, just like, it was just normal questions, but they kind of like, sort of got deep. He's like, my close to my family, that type of thing. And yeah, and I remember asking him, I was like, these the questions you want to ask? He was like, well, yeah, I just want to get to know you. And I was like, <laughs> Okay, and I literally put my head down, y'all, and I was like, just thinking. So then I lift my head back up and I look at him, I'm like, tell me about you. I was like, tell me about you, like what, what, um, like who are you? You know, like what do you do? You know, so he's telling me about him, um, 
like where how you grew up and all of that and blah 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 and such and such but really what i had in my head is are you what are you like are you do you like niggas like like what what is your what is your status like um do you like niggas so i let him talk i let him talk i let him talk tell me everything um i'm listening and then and i was like and so so i asked him i said are you uh i said you do you like I was like do you like niggas because i just i don't i don't know and he was like yeah i do and i was like so you i'm like you gay He's like, well, I'm bisexual. I was like, okay. And I start asking him, I'm like, when did you, like, when? Because I don't know, he just seemed so, like, not of the norm, if that makes sense. So I basically asked him, like, are you out the closet? When did you all this and that, blah, blah, blah. He basically said that he never really had, like, a moment that he came out the closet, but it's just more so, like, it's not a secret either. If a motherfucker asks, like, yeah, whatever, but he's not just like, oh, yeah. Like, he said he tried talking to a dude before, um, and, you know, it wasn't a secret. They end up going public, but it just didn't work out, that type of thing. But he said that he's been liking dudes since he was like 17 that's when he realized um yeah my job i was 22 i think i was 22 going on 23 and he was um he was 25 or he was about to be 25 I think. if i was 22 then he was 24 about to be 25 i was 20 i was about to be 23 he was about to be 25 so and now i'm fucking 24 so he's 26 but um yeah so that type of thing and i was like okay i was like well that's that's what's up you know just getting information because now now it makes sense because i'm like I, it was just a question in my head and all this and that. it literally just kind of got silent and then like mind you we're just looking over the rail and i remember seeing it was it was this and y'all please don't <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling y'all what I saw, what we saw, but I'm not making fun of nobody. But it was this bigger, it was this bigger girl. She was riding on one of them little scooters, right? The motorized scooters, and she fell. And um, we were just like we both saw it, and we we're just like, damn. And then we just kind of looked at each other, and then we just both started laughing. Y'all, it had nothing to do with her being big. It was just because she fell. Like, I would have laughed at a motherfucking ant falling off the scooter, for real. Like, anything just, just like that is just stupid. But we just started laughing, and we just like, what the fuck? Y'all, it was really like some movie star. <laughs> As the laugh was just like drawn out. We were just kind of like... <laughs> and then he was just still looking at me. And I just kind of looked at him, and I was like, what? And y'all, he literally like goes like this, grabs my chin. Mind y'all, he's taller than me. Tom. Fine, fine. But, however. <laughs> and he leaned down and kissed me. And y'all, I just kind of like, I just remember balling my fist up, and I just kind of like... Like pushed him away like by his chest and I was just like I literally just went like this y'all and did a deep breath and we just gonna leave it at that <laughs> <laughs> just gonna leave it at that because this I literally end up we just gonna leave it at that we just gonna leave it at that um some would say I'm a cheater some would say I'm being disloyal some would say infidelity but I would say I wasn't in a motherfucking relationship with Trent and Trent was motherfucking ignoring me so I'm motherfucking you know? And I didn't kiss the boy, the boy kissed me. And when y'all see what happens in the next episode, y'all gonna be like, okay, well, Darius, you, you really did your shit, low key. Like, you really did your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really did your shit. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, we gonna leave it at there. I know y'all be like, why are you leaving off on cliffhangers on cliffhangers? I know when to stop a motherfucking story. Cause then it just makes that next more story a little bit more juicier, the anticipation, you know what I'm saying? Also too, comment down below, like, how do y'all feel like, do y'all feel like I was out of place in any of this? That I have never went to this boy's, uh, movie night? <sighs> like, let me, let me know. I mean, oh! Yeah, but with that being said, I hope that y'all enjoyed this story time. My time with Trent, episode motherfucking five. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, click that motherfucking bell on the side so that you can be notified. Make sure that you tell a friend or two because it is good for you. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in my next YouTube video. Bye!